All right, guys, so the World Tournament starts tonight, uh, July, uh, August 24th at 11.30 p.m. PST. So get ready for that. It's going to be coming. Let's go over and talk about it real quick. It ends and runs until Monday, 8.28 at 10.59 p.m. PDT or PST. So it's going to be running from Thursday night to Monday night. A little bit atypical because they usually do it from um, Wednesday night to Sunday night. I really wish they stuck with that schedule, but oh well, what can you do, right? Ranking rewards, number one place, 10 of this good Mr. Boo, then you have three SSR guaranteed tickets, 10 Dragon Ball Saga tickets, 10 Elder Kai's, three Hercule Platinums, then you get all your medals and you get all your training items. This runs all the way down to the 10,000th place where you get one Boo and one guaranteed SSR and three Dragon Ball Sagas and two Elder Kai's and three Hercule Platinum uh, statues. Um, overall, not bad. It's really worth going for the 10,000th place. It's really a lot easier to get there, especially if you have that AoE. Um, 5,000, you get essentially one extra Elder Kai and one extra Boo. Not really worth it, in my opinion, um, for the one extra Elder Kai and one extra Boo, unless you really have nothing to do this weekend and you're bored. But it's going to be really nice around here, so I'm definitely not going to be going for 5,000th. I'll probably be going for 10,000th. Um, but let's go ahead and talk about the card before we go into the other stuff. So, um, Irrepressible Impact Mr. Boo. He has a leader ability of all types, key plus 2, HP plus 50%. His super attack is Flame Shower Breath. Causes supreme damage to the enemy and lowers attack. His passive skill, Flexible Transformation. Changes intelligence key to Rainbow Key and recovers 5,000 HP per Rainbow Key orb obtained. So, you know, his passive, um, I don't think it's the best passive in the world, but he does uh, type to rainbow which if you know my current ranking on that that is the second best one uh with the new one that's come out on the jp side where i believe it's two orbs where the bill schnitzel uh, tra uh, uh transforms the or two different color orbs into one color orbs um, i think that's gonna be the number one now but you know for the sake of global where he's still in uh, number two place oh, plus he recovers hp a little bit which is cool um, link skills are the Innocence Revival, Master of Magic, Majin, Infinite Regeneration, and Shocking Speed. Uh, max stats are HP of 99.12, Attack of 72.73, and Defense of 48.02. He has a 12 key multiplier of 130%, and obviously he's only an SSR, he has no Dokken Awakened form. Uh, maximum possible HP recovery in the most optimal situation is 25,000 HP. Now, the reason why it's not a big deal to get um, get multiples of these guys, I mean, yes, I guess you could do it for dupe paths, but there's no real reason for you to go for the dupe paths on him, uh, just because he does have a farmable or semi-farmable unit. That is the Beyond Human Intellect Mr. Boo, if my, you know, page wants to load. <laughs> uh, Beyond Human Intellect Mr. Boo. This is the Intelligence SR Droppable from Summons card. Now, you Z-Awaken him for a 50% chance to feed into uh, this Technique Boo, which is, you know, makes it a little bit easier. You can get him with the Super Attack 10 without a problem. He doesn't have a Doken Awakening, so you do have time to do that. Um, he's definitely not high on the list for a character that you would want to do that with, but I just want to let you know that you can do it. Um, but let's go talk about his actual viability before we go into the rest of the World Tournament. Um, I don't really... This, this so... This is the only card he has more than three link skills with. Right over here, this is the Boo from the actual um, Boo event. The uh, I think it was the Kid Boo event that uh, that drops. So that one kind of sucks. He's really not good, but he shares five link skills with him. So not bad, I guess, um, if you're trying to make a team around that Boo. But you're really not going to because he's not a hard hitting unit at all. Um, let's see. He has attack, the Innocence, Resurrection, Magical User, Majin, and Infinite Playback or Infinite Energy, whatever it is, for HP three percent recovery. So he's going to be linking decent with the boos. He does share some link skills with the other boos, the, the super boos, Innocence, Majin, and Infinite Playback, which is essentially the basic three links that um, most of the boos uh, actually share with each other. So the thing is, so you're not going to, you're probably not going to run this boo on your team. Now, unless you really don't have good other units, this boo is not going to be abused on your team. You could only use one of these two super boos, and it really depends on your situation of which one of these two you're going to run. He does link with the Arales. Um, he links with both of these Arales for three key or three links apiece. Uh, really not that great, though, still. Uh, I, I'm just doing a monotech team, by the way, guys. Innocence, um, Shocking Speed, and Resurrection, or um, I think that's Shattering the Limit. Um, or, no, that's not Shattering Limit. But Resurrection, yeah, same thing. So... They're going to be sharing some good key links, and then the other one is, I believe this is the Janembu. So, let's see, let's take a look over here, and see what they share. And, uh, Shocking Speed, Majin, and Infinite Play, yeah. So, essentially, it's the same three link skills across almost all of them, except for the Boo on the Arale, but they just share more elite key links. So, overall, not really good or viable on many different teams. This is for three uh, link skills or more, by the way, guys, for a monotech team. 
Plus, remember, he is a super unit. So the fact that he's a super unit means you're not going to be able to run him on a mono team or a mono um, a, a mono villain te uh, extreme tech team. So uh, just keep that in mind. But let's go ahead and talk about the rest of the world tournament. Obviously, the local rewards is going to be the, the standard LR Piccolos, 40 Master Marks, um, three Dragon Ball Saga tickets for first place, one Dragon Stone, one SSR Hercule statue, and five Sensu Beans. Now, personally, me, I'm going for second and third place. I just need those Master Marks. I'm not going to take away the two Piccolos. I don't really need them, actually. Um, my Piccolos now, Max, if you guys didn't watch that video I did, he is Super Attack 20 with all Dupes unlocked, and he's, like, almost max level. So... Uh, mine's all set, but so make sure you go for that. Um, let's just talk, let's see. Piccolo, I believe, is available up until the 100th place, yeah. So if you're just looking for Piccolos, go ahead and do that. I just want the Master Mark, so that way for the, all the future Doken Awakenings, I have additional medals in place. Um, mission Rewards, and this is really what I want to talk about. So, uh, Mission Rewards are pretty standard. Um, you go through all the missions and you get different things. I'm not going to talk about every single individual one. Um, uh, you do get some Bulma medals. Remember, guys, to grind out those Bulma medals uh, and the turtle medals while you're there. Whenever you're on the map, go for the gold medals. All right. I had someone try to tell me that I was um, that I was a modder because I had over 400 of each. I've been playing for a very long time. Um, so you also get potential orbs. So that's definitely going to come in. Make sure you go for all these guys. I'm telling you, please make sure you go for these. Because these are very good rewards. It makes the world tournament grind worth it. Um, now I did see that we had another redstone available trying to find it in here because i don't know where the hell it is um yeah so i don't know i, I saw a redstone somewhere uh, mentioned somewhere if we happen to get the redstone i don't see it in the actual dbz.space but uh, if we actually do have it available use it on full power frieza especially if you pull the cora if you guys already have a full power frieza max dupe system and everything um probably i would say the gohan um, the Gohan the Cell are probably the two that are going to be sort of viable in the future. Remember that the, the Mono Agility team, that Super Saiyan 3 Goku is really good. And if you don't have a strong Agility team, he can be useful. But I did a full video on that, so go ahead and check that out when, um, you know, it's somewhere in my playlist. Not even my playlist, uh, on, my, on my channel. So uh, just type in Redstone on my channel search and you'll be able to find it. Um, but overall, uh, my recommendation would definitely be the full power Frieza, so you can get him 100%. He hits like crazy. He has an immense damage modifier, and his passive skills attack plus 120%. Uh, he links perfectly with that cooler, or the Korra. And the, let me put it like this, I really want the Korra just because a mono physical extreme team has so many different options and good units you can run. Um, but that's that. I just wanted to say that. Make sure you go ahead and, and take care of that. Um, if we do get that redstone, I, I just don't know why it's not here. I know I saw it up on the Reddit. But anyway, guys, that's it. Uh, I just wanted to go over the World Tournament with you. Thank you for joining me here today. Hit that subscribe button if you're new. I'll be dropping another video a little bit later on today, probably later on tonight, going over some of the other stuff. I believe the Godku cards I want to go over, talk about team building with them. So I'll be dropping that tonight and Saturday. I'll probably do the Intelligence Weeses, um, and then we'll talk about the Rebirths on Saturday night or Sunday morning. But thank you for joining me here today again. Uh, hit that sub button if you are new, and I'll catch you guys later.